Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. This video is the part of LWC data communication series where in previous video we have covered some basics about data communication like what does it means by data communication and what all different possible scenarios we can have in LWC to pass data between components. And today in this video we will see how we can pass data from parent component to child components. So as you know in LWC we can add components one into another. I mean we can have components in parent child relationship for example here you can see we have added component b under component a which means component a is the parent component and b is the child component right now here what we want to do we want to pass data from parent component to child component which means from this component a to component b for example once i'll enter any text in this name field and click on submit then enter text should be passed to component b and display over here so let me type hello word here and click on submit all right now you can see hello word here in component b which means this value has been passed from component a to component b or we can say from parent to child component right how this is working so this is what today we will learn in this video okay now let's understand what all things we have to do to pass data from parent component to child component. So here parent component will be sender. Now to send or pass data to child, here we have two ways, declarative and programmatic. In declarative approach, additional code is not required, but in programmatic approach, we have to write additional JavaScript code. We'll see these both approaches in practical implementation and discuss which one should be used when. And now at child component, we just need to declare a public property so that can receive data which are being passed from parent and how we can declare a public property using api decorator okay so only these two steps we need to perform to pass data from parent component to child and now let's see all these things in practical and for that let's open our code editor that is vs code and here let's create two new components Okay, here we have created two new LWC components, component A and component B. And now here let's add basic HTML markup in both components. Okay, so here we have added lightning card with title in both components. Now here in component A, Let's call component B. Okay. So if you want to call a component into another LWC component, then first we need to write namespace that is C for custom components. And after hyphen, we have to write component name in kebab case. Kebab case means all the words will return in lower case. And if we have any uppercase character in component name, then that we have to replace with hyphen lower case. For example, here we have B in capital letter. So it replaced with hyphen B and we have written component hyphen B. Okay. So this is how we can call any component into another LWC component. Now before moving further, let's deploy these components into Salesforce org. So we can add on home page and you know, we will only add component A on home page. So first let's set up few things in meta config file. Okay, here we have marked this expose property to true. So now this component is available to use in Salesforce pages. But where all places we can use that we have to define in targets. So as of now we have defined app page and home page as target, which means now this LWC component can be used on any app or home page in our Salesforce org. Okay, and now let's deploy these components. Deployment is done. Now, if you want to add that component here on home page, then we have to edit it. And for that, let's click on this gear icon and select edit page option. Now it will open app builder interface. And under this custom components section, 
we will find all the components which are marked as exposed true and have home page in targets okay now let's drag and drop this component a and click on save and click on back all right now we can see here our component a with component b why component b as well because we have added component b into component a so indirectly it is the part of component a so wherever component a will render b will also get render okay and now to pass data from parent component to child component first we have to create a public property in child component so first let's declare that okay so here in component b we have created a username property and by default whatever properties and methods we create in component those are private or accessible only within component i mean we can't access properties out of this component so in private properties we won't be able to pass data from parent because their scope is private and they are not accessible to parent right now if you want to allow parent to set value in this property then we have to make it public and how we can make it public using api decorator so let me add that here now let's also bind this username property in html so value can be visible okay so now we are done with child component i mean in child component we just need to make a public property using api decorator all right now we have to work in parent component to pass value in this property but before that first let's add required html markup to show text box and button Okay, here first we have added a div and added this SLDS CSS class to show padding around. Then we have added a lightning layout. So this can help us to show text box and button in single line. And under this lightning layout, we have added two lightning layout items to show lightning input and lightning button. And now as a requirement, on clicking to this button, we will pass this text box value to child component. So here first let's create on click handler for this button. Okay, here with this lightning button, we have added on click listener and assigned this handler method and also created this method in JS file. Now here in this handler method, let's write code to read this text box value. Okay, so to access this lightning input in JS file, we have added lwc ref attribute and assign username as value and then in js file this is how we can read value from control and if you don't know about this ref attribute or interested to know more about this then you can check out my spring 23 release future update video you can find link in description now let's create a property here in parent component to hold this username value okay now once user will click on submit button then we will get text box value in this parent username property right and now if you want to pass it to child component then as we have discussed here we have two ways declarative and programmatic so first we will go with the declarative approach because here we don't need to write additional code so in declarative approach here with child component markup first we need to write that child component public property as attribute in kebab case and here we have a username property so it will be converted into user hyphen name and now in this attribute we can pass any static or dynamic value static means we can simply write here value in double quotes like demo user now once this component a will try to render component b then it will pass this static demo user value to username property of component b right but in our case here we want to pass this text box value and you know 
that we have stored into this parent username property. So let's bind this property there. Okay. Now we have bind this parent username property with username attribute. And you know, by default, all primitive data types are reactive in nature. I mean, we don't need to add track decorator to make them reactive. Reactive means whenever value will get changed in this property, then it will automatically get updated wherever we have used this property, right? So in this case, what will happen once user will enter anything in this text box and click on submit button, then this code will read value from text box and assign into this parent username property. And due to reactive nature, this property value update here in this attribute and also directly get updated in child component. Okay. So these two simple steps are involved to pass data from parent component to child, where first is to create a public property in child component. And second is to pass value in that property from parent HTML markup as a attribute like this. Okay. Now let's deploy these components and test it again. All right. Now we can see here our text box and button, but not with good alignment. I mean, UI is not looking good. We'll add few SLDS classes to make it better. But for now, let's enter hello world in this text box and click on submit button. Okay. Now we can see hello world here in child component. This means we have successfully passed data from parent component to child component. And this is so simple, right? And in the same way, we can pass data into grandchild as well if we are not using LMS, Lightning Messaging Services. For example, let's say under this component B, we have component C as well. Then similarly in component C, we can create a public property to receive or hold value. And while calling in component B, we will pass data with attribute like this. Okay. Now what will happen once we will change value in this text box and click on submit button. Then due to reactive behavior, value will pass to the component B and in the same way will pass to the next child as well. And this is how we can pass value till any child. Okay. Though I'm not showing this thing in practical here, but I would like you to do it in your org and get practical experience about it. All right. Now let's discuss about programmatic approach. I mean, how we can programmatically pass data from parent component to child. So as of now, we were just adding public property as attribute with child component markup and passed required value like this. But now let me write code to pass value programmatically and also add some SLDS classes to make UI better. Okay, so here what we have done, first we have added some SLDS CSS classes to make UI better, then remove that username attribute from child component markup and added LWC rep attribute and assign comp b as value. And you know, rep is better way to select or reference DOM elements in JavaScript file. So whatever elements we have assigned with LWC rep attribute, their reference is available in reps property in JavaScript file. So here we have used this reps property and access component B reference. Okay. Now with this reference, we can call or use any public property or method. So here we have accessed this username property and assigned this parent username property. Now what it will do, it will directly access the username property of component B and assign value. Okay. This is also simple, right? But here we have to write code to access child component element in JavaScript file and they need to assign value. And in the same way, we can call child component methods as well. For example, let me create one method in component B. Okay, here in component B, we have created a demo method 
this takes input as name and under this method we are simply printing this name value into console and now to call this method from parent component let's make it public by adding api decorator okay now let's call it in component a okay this is how we can call child components public method from parent component now let's deploy these components and test it all right now ui is much better than previous but here still we can see this text out of box so let me change this as well all right now it is looking better now here let's type hello world again and once i'll click on this submit button then hello world should be visible here and also we should see hello world in console as well okay we can see hello world here now let's check in console as well all right here also we can see this means we have successfully accessed child component public properties and methods in parent component and passed data using programmatic approach right so that's it in this video where we have learned how to pass data from parent component to child with declarative and programmatic approach and generally we prefer to use declarative approach to pass data but if you have to call child component method then we have to go with programmatic approach all right if this video helped you to learn something new then please help me to buy like and subscribe my youtube channel and also don't forget to share your feedback in comments that will really give me motivation to create more such kind of videos for you thank you so much for watching i will see you in next video